Please sit. Welcome all of you to St. Mary for the burial this morning. You may take your seats. Now, you persons can only sit in the areas that are so designated. There's no physical contact during the service. If you go to the bathroom, you have to be sanitized when you come back in. Families can sit in the same pew. Where the marker has no sitting, there's no sitting. So do make sure that you're not sitting in a pew that has no sitting on it. If you are in a pew that has a marker, no sitting, you have to move from your seat. So please check and see you are not in a pew that has no sitting at the end. If you do, you have to move from that pew. Is George? He can sit here. We have an appreciation by George Edwin, the appreciation. Good morning. Fred P. Corson stated that if we think of life as a journey and consider it to be the opportunity for getting from where we are to where we want to be, we will have a working rule that provides us with both a purpose and expanding possibilities for our lives. These words could have been the philosophy of our father, Lawrence Adolphus Edgehill. My brothers and sisters in Christ, this morning we are gathered here in, at St. Mary's to give God thanks for the life of Lawrence Adolphus Edgehill, father, brother, grandfather, uncle, and friend. Sometimes, one is called upon to undertake assignments that, both, that bring both pleasure and pain. This is such an occasion. Pleasure because I had the privilege and opportunity to enjoy my father's company for over 69 years. Pain because that experience will be no more. Lawrence was born to the late James and Isaline Edgehill on the 17th of May, 1930, and he slipped peacefully away on the morning of the 1st of June, 2020. He was the brother of the Dr. Edgehill, father of David UK, the late Richard Loban, and George Edgehill. Grandfather of Greg, James, Jordan, and Laura Edgel, UK, Linda Yarwood, Larry Marshall, and Rhea Edgel, and great grandfather of Victoria, Rebecca, and Jacob Edgel, UK, Nathan, and Noah Marshall, and Jasmine Pearl, Yearwood Row. Father in law of Mavis and Sandra Edgel. He attended St. Mary's Boys and later the Modern High School 
After graduating from his alma mater, he returned there to teach and also gave private lessons to students from the district in Bank Hall. Some of these students still remember him fondly for his methodology and his immaculate use of the English language. He spoke this way for the rest of his life. As a young man, he was active here in St. Mary's Church, his mentor being the late CVS Bell. He was a member of the church choir, Church Lads Brigade, debating society for 16 years. Since he considered life as a journey, and he was desirous of improving himself, he emigrated to the UK in 1956, where he spent four years, finally emigrating to New York in 1960, where he spent the next 55 years, returning home in 2015 after spending 59 years abroad. His love for the church led him to joining the St. George's Episcopal Church, becoming a member of the choir, as well as Chief Hatcher. Later, he joined St. Thomas Episcopal Church in Manhattan, where he became the first black usher, remaining there until his return to Barbados, where he became a member of the 9 a.m. congregation. His love for education saw him grasping all available opportunities to improve himself as he moved through the ranks of his chosen profession as margins and analysts at the Stock Exchange on Wall Street after graduating from La Salle Business College. Larry, as he was known by friends, loved to entertain and would spare no expense when having friends over to his home. Many are the stories traded about his hospitality. However, visitors from Barbados were first invited to church. He was very proud of the choir of St. Thomas and insisted that hearing them sing must be the highlight of a trip to New York. This period has been extremely difficult for my brother David and his family, who resides in the UK since they did not get the chance to say goodbye. He remembers dad fluency in English and the fact that he would readily correct you. An avid reader, he had books of many subjects and he often quoted Prime Minister Sir Winston Churchill in many of his discussions. One book which readily stands out is The One and Adequate, which he presented to, to my brother and I. This book by John and Mary Bolton has proved useful over the time as it assisted me during my career. Although a firm believer in rules and standards, he had a quick wit and was known for his sense of humor. Despite all the above activities, he still found time to attend church and serve his God regularly. Special thanks to Dr. Ryan Kelman and Dr. Rhea Edgel for their personal care over the past four and a half years. Also his caregivers, John and Deborah Fitzpatrick, Charles Stricker, and the staff at Rendezvous Retreat for their love and care. We are saddened by his passing, but as a reminder of the frailty of life, and the fact that no one knows the day or the hour. On his headstone will be recorded the date of his birth and death, 1930-2020. But how will we remember his 90 years on earth? This is very important. His sons, sister, grandchildren, and friends will all have different memories which will have impacted their lives over the years. Family and friends, as I bring to an end these brief remarks, my thoughts have found a rest in place in Ecclesiastes chapter three. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, 
A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. In exhibiting these qualities of devotion to family, Lawrence Adolphus has fulfilled his destiny. And was he alive today, he would have encouraged us not to mourn his passing, but to carry on a fellowship of goodwill and gratuity to one and all. Dad, we have heard your voice and would abide by those precepts to which you so unselfishly devoted your life. May God be with you to meet again. Rest. May he rest in peace. We have a solo by Anthony Bernard.
And once again the scene was changed, new earth they seem to be. I saw the holy city beside the tideless sea. The light of God was on its streets, the gates were open wide. And all who would might enter, and no one was denied. No need of the sun and the moon by night or sun. Shine by day. Here was the new Jerusalem that would not pass away. Here was a Please stand for the reception of the body. With faith in Jesus Christ, we receive the body of our brother Lawrence Adolf Edgil for burial. Our brother was washed in holy baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Let us therefore with confidence pray to God our Heavenly Father, the giver of life, that he will raise him to perfection in the company of the saints. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O God of grace and glory, we remember before you this day our brother Lawrence Adol. We thank you for giving him to us, his family and friends, to know and love as a companion on our earthly pilgrimage. In your boundless compassion, console us who mourn. Give us faith to see in death the gates of eternal life, so that in quiet confidence we may continue our course on earth 
until by your call we are reunited, reunited with those who have gone before through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The hymn 223. 2, 2, 3.
one God forever and ever. Amen. Kindly sit for the first reading, which will be done by Dr. Ria Edwin. Good morning, everyone. The first reading from the Word of God, written in Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 4, beginning at the 13th verse. But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about those who have died, so that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe in Jesus, who died and rose again, even so through Jesus, God will bring him with those who have died. For this, we declare, is you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left unto the coming of the Lord, will be by no means precede those who have died. For the Lord himself, with, no, with a cry of command, with the archangel's call, and with the sound of God's trumpet, will descend from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up in the clouds together with them to meet the Lord in the air, and so we with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. Here ends the first reading. Thanks be to God. The Psalm on page 4. We shall read the alternate verses, page 4. God is our rescue and strength, a very present help in trouble. Though its waters rage and foam, and though the mountains tremble as its tumult, There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. The nations make much ado and the kingdoms are shaken. God has spoken and the earth shall melt away. Come now and look upon the words of the Lord. What awesome things he has done on earth. Be still then and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations and I will be exalted in the world. The second reading. Good morning. Second scripture reading is taken from John Gospel chapter 5, 24 to 27. Very truly, I tell you, anyone who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and does not come under judgment but has passed from death to life. Very truly I tell you, the, honor is com the hour is coming and is now here, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who will hear will live. For just the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself, and he has given him authority to execute judgment, because he is the Son of Man. Here ends the second reading. We have the summer with Father Leplant, Father Leplant. Mr. Lawrence, 
was known to me very well because spiritually I attended to him while he was unable to be here at St. Mary's. To the family, I give you my sympathy knowing that we will see him again. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. I speak to you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. These are words of comfort for anyone who may find themselves into a situation just like this, the bereavement of our loved ones. To know that God is our refuge and strength is comforting. Comforting because he is a God who holds the universe. Comforting because he is the God who takes care of all of us. Comforting because he is the God who holds the whole world in his hand. Comforting because even amidst of COVID 19, he is still the God who is our refuge and strength. A very present help in the time of trouble. Sometimes one wonders where do we go so much troubles, so much difficulties. Sometimes one wonders where do we turn because all the ways seems to be dark. Forward, you can't see where to go. A left, you cannot turn because you don't see right, you don't see behind in baby's flowers. But when we refer to these words, a verb was in help in time of trouble, again, we find there is great comfort there. A very present help in the time of trouble. If ever you are into a situation whereby you don't see where to turn, you don't see where to go, I am recommending to you this God. And if you don't seem to find him, let me say to you, it is because of your lack of faith. Reach out and touch him. Reach out for him and you will see he comes at your aid. Three times in one psalm we find the words the Lord of hosts is with us the God of Jacob is our stronghold. Three times. That is to say, to say that we are being reassured of this God's help. Three times. We are being restrengthened by these words. The Lord of hosts is with us. 
The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Very actually, our brother Lawrence, he cannot hear us now. I have a sense that if he could have heard us, if he could have heard us, he would either shake his head, give a nod, giving his agreement to these words, or he would say, oh yes. As I said, he was known to me. He is a man who loved God. Of course, he is also a man who loves his church. Many times as I go by the family to administer the Holy Communion, as I go by the home to where he was, he was staying to again administer the Holy Communion, I always see in his face a man who was sincere. I see in his face a man who was ready to receive the most precious body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. I see in him a believer. And so it is not by chance we are here saying uh, we will see him again. Uh, we have that certainty. We have that assurance uh, that we will see him again. The first lesson the reader tells us what it says but somewhere there it is said at the sound of the trumpet, the dead in Christ shall rise the first of all, him and others. The dead in Christ shall rise first of all, and then those of us who are still alive will be caught up to glory. So when we say we we'll see him again, we base our faith, we base our, our words on these. At the sound of the trumpet, the dead in Christ shall rise first of all, and those who are alive shall be caught up to glory, to meet him in the air. There are some people in our days that they are, they are trying to be difficult. Very difficult, technical. Because they, they say, well, where is God? Where is heaven? Really and truly, I don't want to know where it is or where he is. But I this my faith on these words of Paul that he said to them he does not want them to be ignorant or uninformed as says the reader because at the sound of the trumpet the dead in Christ shall rise first of all, and those who are alive will be caught up to glory. That's all I want to know. That's, that is sufficient for me. If there is anyone, any, anything else, well, uh, let me learn after, uh, uh, about those later. Later, as in the next life. I remember the words of Psalm 23. 
Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy word and thy staff, they comfort me. That is what we are saying to the family today. It is not easy, 90 or younger or older, it is not easy to, to be burying a loved ones. But you see, beside God is your refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Even now, as we walk, we should not fear. We should not have any, any reservation at all. Because we are in his hands. Many times we wonder, what if I were to die? What if it was me who was there being finalized? What if? And those what ifs, they will surely come to pass one day. It is for us, while we are alive, to make preparation. It is for us, while we are having our faculties, to prepare for this time here. And the next time, because uh, the Bible clearly states the dead in Christ, not any dead, not any dead, the dead in Christ shall rise first of all. I'm happy. Because I am in Christ. Are you? Well, if you are not, you can be happy. If you are not, you can be right now. Only by accepting him as your Lord and Savior. And then your name will be written in the book of heaven. Many times, as I went to Mr. Lawrence to do my pastoral duties, he always makes sure that I have my crucifix across. Because to him, it, it, it signifies that I am from God. It, it signifies that, hey, here is a sign. The common sign that we are believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. Many times, at times I, I won't forget it, but I'll go back for it. Because I know he is going to ask for it. What is your sign as believers today? We are living in a turbulent time. Look at us now. One further up, one here, one there, one and before we, we started the Mass, we heard the, the priest here giving the instructions. On the wall we are looking, we see the instructions. Just to remind us how limited we are. Just to remind us how confined we are. Don't you think we want to see Jesus? Don't you think we want to see him coming back for his world? 
like many, I'm asking, what next? We have dengue, we have Ebola. Now we have COVID-19. That one is the worst. Because we have to have the mask on our faces. Before we touch something, we have to go and wash our hands. People cannot walk too close for too close beside us. What is the world coming up to? That is why I'm saying to all of us, if we are in Jesus, hold on to Jesus. And if we are not, try. try. If we are not, try to get him. I have a feeling it won't be long before he makes his second appearance. People I judge, I mean, like Lawrence, it delays from the dead. And those of us who are alive will be caught up to glory. But remember, we have to be in Christ. That's the key word. The dead in Christ. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Do you have him? Is he your refuge? Is he your strength? Is he your helper in the time of your trouble? If he can't, if you can't say that, you can say it right now. Amen. Please stand. Page five in the booklet. Page five. I believe in God. Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, O Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and was born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered on the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church. The communion of sin, forgiveness of sins. Life everlasting. Amen. The hymn 495. Four nine five.
committee session as found on page seven. I invite you to make your response at the appropriate time. For our brother Lawrence, let us pray to our Lord Jesus Christ who said, I am the resurrection and I am life. Lord, you console Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to us who mourn for Lawrence and dry the tears of those who weep. You wept at the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow. You raised the dead to life. Give to our brother eternal life. You promised paradise to the teeth who repented. Bring our brother to the joys of heaven. Our brother was washed in baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Give him fellowship with all your saints. He was nourished with your body and blood. Grant him a place at the table in your heavenly kingdom. Comfort us in our sorrow at the death of our brother. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to you our brother Lawrence, who was reborn by water and the spirit in holy baptism. Grant that his death may recall to us your victory over death and be an occasion for us to renew our trust in your father's love. Give us, we pray, the faith to follow where you have led the way and where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit to the ages of ages. Amen. We want to extend our condolences to George and family as we say farewell to Lawrence Adolphus. We thank God for his ministry here at St. Mary, where he was a faithful member and sang in the choir for a long time. We pray that this service will be a source of strength to you and we are reminded that God is our hope and strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. The commendation on page 10. The commendation on page 10. As the church says farewell to one of its members.
pay strength.
We beseech you in your infinite goodness to give us grace to live in your dear love and to die in your favor, that when your well beloved son shall come again, both in judgment, both this our brother Lawrence and we ourselves, we found acceptable in your sight. Grant this, we pray, for the sake of your son Jesus Christ, our Lord. Lord be with you and also with you let us pray almighty God with whom still lives the spirit of those who die in the Lord and with whom the souls of the faithful are in joy and felicity we give you heartfelt thanks for the good examples of all your servants who having finished their course in faith now find rest and refreshment. May we, with all who have died in true faith of your holy name, have perfect fulfillment and bliss in your eternal and everlasting glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Rest eternal, grant to him, O Lord. And let like perpetual sign. May he and all the faithful departy through the mercy of God. Rest in peace. Amen. We have a brother overseas in London, so this is being streamed live to him. Ever God of love.
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all now and forevermore. Amen.